So this is our last story of the day. This is evidence piles up that Black Lives Matter is just another coercive extremist religion. This is BLM Black Lives Matter funding race grift fallout. So this is Black Lives Matter assault town of Elizabeth City, New North Carolina. That's that's what I've picked for the uh, for the the top link for this BLM Black Lives Matter funding race grift fallout. This is the topic report. And this is from NLPC.org. And uh, if you're watching the live stream, uh, welcome back. Because I know we were gone for a little bit, but I think we're back now. BLM co-founders nonprofit seeks to operate in other states as it avoids financial disclosure in California from LLPC.org. So this is uh, Joe Shoffsdale writes on FoxNews.com, a social justice nonprofit (laughs) chaired by Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors, the the multimillionaire with the multimillionaire homes who only bought these multimillionaire homes to take care of her family, of course, because she's noble and, you know, she's she's a good Marxist, is moving to operate in other states as it avoids filling required financial documents in California filing show. Color's nonprofit Dignity and Power Now was, I don't know what that means, was warned by California's Attorney General's office in March over its failure to file all the required financial documents for 2019. According to state records, Dignity and Power Now is currently delinquent in California where it is incorporated. From the same article, as a condition of their tax-exempt status, nonprofit groups are required by the IRS and state regulators to disclose significant information about their finances, says Peter Flaherty, chairman of the National Legal and Policy Center. It is important for groups soliciting donations to file accurately and on time. And you have, I've, I've already reported in other stories about how she is a multimillionaire who's she's basically a grifter and she is just like uh, like the title here is uh, evidence piles up the Black Lives Matter is just another course of extremist religion all religions of all kinds produce a variety of expressions of these religious patternings if you will including Christianity now I say this I want you to know that I our, 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 as a matter of fact, the freedomists, we're all about, we are, we, we define freedomists as Christians operating in the civic. That's, that's the way we define freedomists. We know that that's not the definition that's currently in dictionaries, and there are other people that would dispute that. But hey, hey, we do what we do. Language is war. And uh, so in that war, we're declaring, we're saying, this is freedomist. So I am a Christian, and I believe fully in Christ and the Holy uh, Trinity and I'm a pretty devout Christian as, as that goes. So I say that as a Christian, Christianity has produced, obviously, has produced a coercive extremist uh, religions. If you want to, because I think of them as multiple religions. It's, a, it's, it's the Christian patterning. And really, most religions, most religious beliefs these days that are secular, for instance, that is, they don't claim uh, an actual Godhead. They are, they're mostly patterned after Christianity because it's, by far and away the most successful patterning out there. And even in Islam is a form of uh, a Christian religion, the way that I see it. Uh, again, upside-down Christism, as I've said in other episodes, upside-down Christism for sure, but it borrows it significantly from Christian morality. And so Black Lives Matter is no, no, no exception. Black Lives Matter is an ideology that is built upon the idea of human beings being equal to one another, uh, but it does so by declaring that some human beings are more equal than others and some human beings are outright unredeemable. You have to have angels and demons in these ideologies. In the, in the true Christianity, we are called to love our enemies. We are called to rule with a promise of life. But in all other religions and all other versions of Christianity even, they rule through death, as Black Lives Matter does. They offer thuggery. They offer violence. They offer hate as a means of converting human beings into images in their image. Not God's image. Not the image of Christ. Christ, who came as the master of all and yet acted like he was the servant of all. This is what what leadership in Christianity compels in the in the like i think the the relationship in the marriage uh is is quintessential 
to modeling this out where the wife is called to obey the husband. But the husband is basically, well, first off, just outside of the specific instructions about the relationship of husband to wife, if you are a leader in Christianity, you are a slave. You are called to be a slave to the, to the ones that you serve. Leadership in Christianity is about washing people's feet and, and being a good compass. So in the, in, the, in the relationship of the marriage where the husband is, is, is the one, the wife, the wife obeys the husband, but the, the husband is a slave to the wife. And so you get this kind of cyclical churn of power so that no power is, is coalesced around any one individual. A husband who rules the wife but not as a slave is not a Christian. They're an upside down Christian. They're using Christ to basically control the life of their wife and make the wife in their image. And in essence, that's what Black Lives Matter is. Black Lives Matter is, except in, in the husband and wife, well, they're the, they play the role of the husband and we all play the role of the wife. And in their model, the husband is the leader, is the one with the special knowledge, special power that is beyond our understanding and and doesn't serve anyone but the husband himself and that's that's what black lives matter is and you can see it in stories like this where their their leadership is acting like the like the the kenneth copelands of the world the joyce myers of the world these are these are coercive agents uh perverting the the word of god and turning it into a burden upon humans rather than than using it as an inspiration for those that have the leadership that has converting what it has to serve those that do not even though they use the language of of those who would do these things blm wreaks havoc and fear on elizabeth city north carolina this is from uh, louder with crowder and i, I want to also clarify louder with crowder you know i'm no fan of louder with crowder if you watch the show and uh, other headlines here blm radicalized actress vows no more cop shows for me there she's she's claiming her religious purity right there. BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors in hot water again over lavish spending. Of course, Rochester School Board adopts Black Lives Matter as official district language. Now, this is the separation of church and state, man. Separation of church and state? Not so much. BLM co-founder group spends $26,000 at Luxury Malibu Resort from Fox News. Oh, that last one was from MedCityBeat.com. Elder, BLM co-founder, cashes in on systemic racism. This is an opinion on DailyJournal.com. And then Pastor E.W. Jackson says Black Lives Matter is worse than COVID. This is from Newsweek. And uh, E.W. Jackson is right because it's far more systemic. It is systemic racism. Black Lives Matter organization is systemic racism. And uh, I'll end it at that.